What's going on, Morn here, and we're back for day two of the, the Lee test. So we're trying to find out how viable Lee is, actually is in in-game, uh, in late game. I'm not full in-game because in-game in -game is like when you're starting and when you're really starting to hit plus 30 artifacts, and I'm not doing that with, I can probably do it with one, maybe get to 25, 30 with another. Um, but we want to find out how good Lee is and if he's actually needed. Uh, there was a good comment. Uh, to test against have Lee and then test, you know, with uh, say use Karthus or, or Margaret against a forest hero because they're going to do more damage. But that that's not telling the story of how well Lee is because you're taking you're taking the damage of what someone's strong against and going there. Just like yesterday was a little skewed because Musashi was strong against the the dark boss. I'm going to try to test against every boss with Lee and Musashi and see who does better. But because I want to find out if it's strictly Musashi that's better or there's other viable heroes, today I have my four attacks for Nether Boss. And I'm also going to test one, one attack with Irene and one attack with Carl. And then whoever the top three are with damage, I'm going to take them over and test them against the, gil, uh, the tribe boss. I want to know if Lee is absolutely necessity. Because... Um, I think most cases Musashi is going to be better uh, than Lee, but that's kind of like on the whale end where, you know, you have multiple good light heroes. Lee's very common, so it, it's easier to build him. That's why I want to test Irene and Carl because they're also fairly common and I get them quite often. So the first person we're going to test today is Lee. We're going to start Lee because he's going to be our baseline. Same gear, same setup as yesterday. Uh, I prefer this setup because energy feed to him helps him get his active off, which really increases damage because it weakens more often. And the boss today in the netherworld is the abyss boss. Double check where he attacks. Back row, challenge. challenge. I'm going to move... I think Lee is fine in the back row. Uh, I would, I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. I think there'll be more damage uh, total overall to the front because it'll take more. Yeah, it'll maybe. You know what? Let's, let's actually challenge him and move him to the front because it might be a little less damage because even though he's getting hit each round, the burn is less. Uh, and we're going to test this and see how it goes. Uh, someone mentioned adding Natalie. It's not that I need more damage, especially against the nether bosses. You only need 3.1 million, and I and I would rather just the survivability of, of Sylvia because I don't have a lot of good mage gear right now. All right, let's test first fight. Seven point nine million. That's not bad at all. Um, Genji and Margaret, of course, do really always do really well. Margaret's passive is great uh, versus pretty much every boss in the game. But that's not bad damage. Seven point nine. I'm not saying Lee is a bad a bad hero. That was never the statement. All I'm saying, all I've been trying to say is maybe he's not needed, and you can go another route, and Lee can be food. All right, let's go on to Musashi. The only difference is he will be taking Lee's ore, and this is how. We'll... I'll put him in the same place. Alright, so 
So Lee is definitely better against this boss. Um, once again, not saying Lee's bad. The question was just if he's necessary or not. Um, and to be honest, at Nether boss, I don't think Lee's necessary because there's no you don't get anything for getting max rewards. Now against tribe bosses, it's becoming pretty clear that Lee is absolutely necessary. All right, so we will move on to Carl. Hopefully Carl doesn't die. Carl, Carl surprisingly actually didn't do bad damage for being equipped with the least possible gear um, that I have for him. All right, in the last, right now it's Lee at the top and then Musashi, then Carl. And now we're going to test, we're going to test Irene and see how she does. I'm going to put her in the same place, but this one's pretty risky because... Irene is pretty squishy on almost all accounts. Let's see how well this works. Well, Irene out damaged Margaret, so that's that's an interesting thing to to see. Um, I've actually tested Irene before, and this is the first time she's done more than Margaret. Uh, so we're gonna go right into the next test. Uh, Carl's out. We obviously know he won't do, but he was he was able to get the damage necessary to max against that particular boss. Uh, the Firewing Dragon does to three. To an enemy, so one enemy, so that is going to be Margaret in the front. Uh, I want to proc her as much as possible. And then it deals damage to all enemies, attack or burn. Okay, all good. We will start with, you know what? We will start with Irene. Oh my gosh. The boss has like no hit points, so this isn't going to work. So we're just going to test Lee and Musashi again. Well, that was unfortunate. So let's Carl quick unequip. And we will do Lee. Actually, we'll do, yeah, we'll do Lee and Irene today. I think that's a better... Irene does more, but Irene does have better gear. It's more on par with what Lee actually has. So let's try this again. Okay, 3.1, uh, Irene didn't do so well. She died very easy here. Um, didn't even notice the reduces the healing. Not a problem. 3.1. Let's go ahead to go to Lee. I will keep Margaret in the same place she's at because I forgot to switch her over in the beginning. And about 3.9. Alright, so so Lee does increase the damage uh, quite a bit versus a lot of these bosses. 
I'll keep doing tests to see how it goes. Uh, kind of sorry about that. I made the mistake on Musashi. I wanted to run him also. He is a little more has a little more survivability than Irene, so it might have been different. But I want to keep running these tests because I want to understand if he's needed. It's not whether he's good. It's if he is needed. In verse Tri bosses, it's clear he's needed. Um, but you have to also weigh how far can your your tribe push against tribe bosses most tribes aren't pushing past the 220 boss uh to my knowledge and if that's a situation do you actually need lee um anyway if you like my content please like subscribe and share thank you have a great day